inadequate ventilation of your attic is one reason that your roof could fail and it voids the manufacturer's warranty if that's the case. Today we're going to be discussing great in great detail attic ventilation and the many types that are available for your home. Hi, I'm Bill Reagan with Bill Reagan Roofing Company. I've been in the construction industry for over 40 years and have owned Bill Reagan Roofing Company for over 30 years. At Bill Reagan Roofing Company, we want our customers to be well informed so they can make the best decision when they buy a roof. Today we're going to be talking about roof ventilation systems. We're going to be talking about what a roof ventilation system is, the different types of roof ventilation, and also what roof ventilation costs. What is a roof ventilation system? A roof ventilation system consists of two different types of ventilation. You have your intake and you have your exhaust. Your intake is where the air comes in down at the eaves, either through the soffit or through a vent placed just above the gutter, a place for air to actually come in. Then you have exhaust, which is the vents that are placed up at the ridge that lets the air out. A roof ventilation system is an extremely crucial component to the life of your actual roof system. As a matter of fact, an improperly ventilated roof is about the only thing that will void a manufacturer's warranty on your roof system. It is also the life of your HVAC system. Uh, a poorly vented attic could make your air conditioning system run much longer in the evening than it would if the attic was properly ventilated. A roof vent system is a truly crucial component in the actual roof system itself. What are some of the types of vents? Now there's two different types of exhaust vents. There's active exhaust vents and there's passive vents. A good example of a active vent would be like a power vent, whether it's a solar powered power vent or even electric motor power vent. A good example of a passive vent is just your standard box vents that you see on a lot of the newer houses or even a ridge vent that doesn't have a baffle. Passive just means it, it just lets the air out. It doesn't have any drawing effect to it whatsoever. What are the costs of roof vents? Roof vents are gonna vary in their cost depending on the, the quality of the vent that you're buying and also how many you're gonna need, so depending on the size of your attic. For a good ridge vent, you can expect to pay anywhere from six to eight dollars a linear foot. Turbine vents installed, you can expect to pay somewhere around $300 a vent. A power vent could cost you up to $500 plus what it would take to get an electrician out there to hook it up. A good solar vent could cost you in the $800 range. So depending on what type of vent you're wanting and how many you need is gonna have a large effect on how much your attic vent's gonna cost. In order to ensure you hire a great roofing contractor, click in our link in the description below and download our list of questions to ask a roofing contractor. If you wanna keep learning, watch the next video in our series. It's gonna be about flashing. That's all for this video. I hope you're feeling more informed. I'm Bill Reagan, and remember, if a customer of mine has a problem, then I have a problem.